on you guys it's candace renee and i'm back with another video and today i'm just going to be showing you guys my natural hair journey um this was requested by navia larkin i hope i said your name right shout out to her for requesting this video and like i've said in my previous videos if you guys have any requests or videos that you think i should do uh, any videos you think i should do just leave them down below in the comment section and i always respond and i see them so let's just get right into it so i have my notes right here too if i do happen to look down because <laughs> i need to kind of keep track of what i'm saying otherwise i'll be all over the place i'll of course insert some pictures as well um now you guys don't judge me these pictures some of these pictures are very embarrassing like what was i doing with my pose with my faces um i just look crazy in some of them so please like don't judge okay <laughs> no judgment zone starting off when i was younger my mom she didn't ever, she didn't put any chemicals in my hair um any at all from what i could remember and what she told me elementary i wore my hair in you know the about five ponytails two ponytails three four six whatever with the little ballies at the end or barrettes and then um that was most of elementary and then i will wear it like that too occasionally in middle school as well it was mainly sixth grade seventh and eighth <laughs> had my hair in um braids you know the serena they call them the serena williams or venus william braids with the little beads at the end the tennis braids whatever <laughs> like i'll be click clacking everywhere you knew i was coming down the hall because you would just hear click, 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 click. you hear my braids click clacking in pe i'll be running and like they'll be like tss, tss, like hitting me in my face and i was just like it was just terrible but you know at the moment you know i thought they were cute and i liked them then ninth grade comes and i would do my hair ninth grade and my mom would do it if my mom did it she would put ponytails i was like why you would think oh i'm going into high school like i want my hair to be straightened i want it you know da 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 no i was still wearing the little ballies with the braids in my hair i want my hair like that you guys until it wasn't like on a consistent basis it wasn't like every week she did my hair it was just when she did it i would wear it like that and she did that until about 11th grade yes 11th grade and then my friends y'all my friends have the nerve like they would be gassing me up like yes you're the only one that could rock it because other girls um started trying to do it and they were like no nah, they need to stop they're like you could rock it you the only one that could rock that hairstyle or I will wear my hair in, you know, two, like these. I'll wear it in two buns. Or I will braid up the hair and then let it out in the morning and it'll be all crinkly. Or I'll, or I'll wear it back in just like a puff or a ponytail, whatever. Well, I didn't really, in high, in elementary or, I mean, really middle school through high school, because that seems to be the phase where everyone, you know, you want your hair straight and stuff. I didn't have that phase until later like i didn't want i didn't like going to the shop like i didn't really want to go i only went like if we took pictures or my mom wanted me to go or made me get it done but other than that i didn't like to go it wasn't until college when when i was like like 18 19 that i did start going to the shop more i started wanting to get have my hair straightened a lot so i was like i'm tired of people thinking that i'm 12 blah, blah, blah. like if i wear my hair straight they'll think i'm older wrong where i would go get it done or my sister would do it because she knew how to you know straighten it and everything this is where heat damage came into the picture because when i would get it done i would sit under the dryer then i would have my hair um i would sit under the dryer then she would blow dry it then go through it with the hot comb like you know press it and then with the flat iron that was for about a good solid one or two years that that happened and i stopped for a little bit stopped getting it done and i started doing braid outs and you know flat braid outs like braiding it to the scalp like corn roll braids and then taking them out i was the only hairstyle that worked because since my hair was heat damaged like the ends wouldn't you know like see how it curls like this like my ends were just straight so i couldn't do a twist out I tried, failed, failed, failed. So braid outs was where it's at. 
where it was. And then um, I was like 19, 19 on 20. Yeah, I was 20 years old. And I was just like, you know what? I want to change. I want something different. Cause my hair, like it had always been long or, you know, that length my whole life. So I had my friend cut my hair and she cut it. Cause it was about to like here. It was always in this range. Like it never grew past that. I was like, can you just cut it? I just told her, cause she would cut, she cut my bangs. She had done my hair before and she knew how to do her hair. So I was just like, can you just cut it? And she's like, are you sure? And I was like, yes, just cut it, just cut it. And she did a great job. She cut it, but I still had heat damage. But then I didn't know what that was. I just thought that was the pattern of my, the curl pattern of my hair. I thought my hair was wavy. And I just thought that's what my hair was. It was cut, then it was growing back, it was growing back. And um, I was still doing like braid outs. And at this point, since I had cut off, you know, parts of my hair were curly and like mainly the front was still heat damaged and little bits and pieces were still heat damaged. I was able to do the flat twist outs. So I started doing those and, um, but you know, just a like twist out, individual twist outs that wasn't working i had to do flat twist outs flat braid outs 21 22 years old um this is when bantu knots became my best friend that's really what i wore most of the time and i didn't even know because i didn't know what transitioning was like i didn't know the term the correct term for what i was doing because i was really transitioning because my hair would grow i would cut some off and then it would grow and i would cut it off but i didn't know what i was doing Do you, does that make sense so then comes september 2015 um this is the year that i did get married and i had moved to south carolina i went to the shop and there that's when you know she was washing my hair and she was like oh you have heat damage and da, da, da. And she was just telling me all about my hair she was like yeah you have to cut this much off she showed me where i need to cut in order because at this point my hair had you know it was growing back and stuff so it was about to like i think it was like about to right here oh so she was like yeah you have to cut off like this much and when you cut that off then your curls will be back and i was like oh okay so then i at that point i started watching youtube and i started you know i kept transitioning um i let my hair grow and then i would cut it and cut it until just one day in february 2016 i just was tired and I was like I want to see my curls my hair would be breaking off and it would just be like puffy up here and then but my ends were you know thinner so I was just like I just I'm tired of this let me just cut it off and you guys that was the best best day of my life now it's been about what February it's been two years since I did my big chop I've been so happy like it's just, I mean, it's been a journey because especially the first year because the first year was me learning what to do, what not to do. The second year was me trying um, different products, finding out what works for me, what doesn't, and just stuff like that. Now my hair is like to here. It's at that point where it stopped growing. That's where I am. My goal is just, if I could get it past to where it just stopped growing, I'll be happy. But yeah, that's pretty much my natural hair journey hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video bye